Hello YouTube people, I currently have only two mechanical watches. First one is the one you already know very well. This is 36 millimeters Parnes, which I like very much. And another one is this Girvo that I haven't showed you yet. Why only two mechanical watches? Honestly, I actually prefer quartz watches. And I do wish that this Parnes would be just a Seiko quartz movement the, you know that one that ticks several times a second but this is the only watch which I wouldn't wanna have as a quartz watch because I will show you later but the whole point of this watch for me is its mechanical movement it is rather big watch for this style but it is big for a reason because otherwise that crazy movement simply wouldn't fit inside which i'm gonna show you later on first of all this watch is 41 millimeters in diameter and luck to luck distance is crazy 49 millimeters but strangely enough on my skinny wrist it does sit very nicely because this watch is rather slim i don't remember the thickness check the description i will measure the watch and i'll put all measurements in the description but but the thing is it doesn't have bubbly case back it's very flat and it sits very nicely very very stable on the wrist I don't feel any discomfort because of long lug to lug distance of whopping 49 millimeters so I bought this watch because I previously had a watch like this Girvo but with Arabic numerals this one as you can see is Roman numerals if I am right I hope I'm right <laughs> so I had the one with Arabic numerals and I sold it because I didn't like the look of the movement the decoration on, on, on that movement I will show you a picture if I can find one and that movement has a second subdial on six this movement has seconds subdial on nine and I much rather prefer the industrial look of this movement you know you know what the main point of this watch is actually the movement so let's take a look at the movement let's wind it up a little bit oh, i just love winding winding this watch it feels so good big crown it's very very nice mechanical feel i just love it amazing I could look at this watch movement for <laughs> for a long time. I just it's it's like hypnotizing. This balance wheel is very big. It's just so it's not the prettiest thing ever, but it's like it's it's you know like looking at a burning fire or something like that. It's just I like it. So as you saw this watch cannot be any smaller than that so that the movement simply wouldn't fit inside and I, I usually don't like dressy style big watches but this one is an exception because it's you know the reasoning why this watch is so big it just makes sense and I, I really like this watch for that it's not like it's big just for, for looks it's big because the movement simply wouldn't fit inside leather strap that this watch comes with is actually surprisingly comfortable it feels okay a little bit stiff at first but once you wear it for a while that then, then it gets this nice shape and sits very nicely on the wrist the only cheap thing about the strap is that the inside of the strap is feels a little bit like a plastic it's not breathable on hot summer days very nice buckle very nice texture it, it does look very good on this watch i tried many other different strap options but this watch actually looks the best on its original strap rather cool looking watch not something that you would normally find in a shopping mall and this watch comes with sapphire crystal stainless steel case and it has this wonderful mechanical movement which i like very much listen oh i just love winding this watch up it's lovely now just for the comparison the size difference of the balance wheel 
on the gear wall and on 36 millimeter parnas. Let me zoom in a little bit. That's how parnas looks like. And that's Girva. <laughs> it's a monster. It does look very impressive in person. I actually prefer the Arabic numerals on the previous watch I had. I just wanted to try something different this time. It's alright. It looks nice. But somehow it looks like it has a little bit too much of a negative space. And that was not the problem with Arabic numerals. These Roman numerals are actually very nice, very elegant, but it just feels like something is missing a little bit on the dial. But other than that, I just love the look of this watch. I especially like those hands. What I didn't like on the one that I previously had on the one with Arabic numerals is those blue hands. Uh, blue hands, in my opinion, personally for me, look a little bit cheap because I, I know they were not heat treated, they just chemically blued. So I wanted black hands and I really enjoy these black hands. They look nice. They don't look cheap whatsoever. It's, it looks something special. I like that. I know you want to see how this watch looks on different straps. So I'm going to show you several different options. It looks very interesting with this mesh style bracelet. Putting this style of a watch on a nylon strap is probably not right. But it does look surprisingly good. But honestly, it does look the best on its original leather strap. Okay, it's time to rate this watch. Where does it go on my website, Thomas? Watchreviews.com. We rate watches into different tier lists. This one is not bad. It goes into not bad. The reason why I'm not putting this watch into keepers because it does look a little bit like. It does have a little bit too much of a negative space. I wish there was something else going on on the dial. It's a little bit too empty. The one with Arabic numerals I prefer better. Those Arabic numerals look nice on empty space. But the Roman numerals, I don't know, I can't really explain why, but it's, it just doesn't look that exciting. And that's the reason why I'm putting this watch into not bad. Because it's not a bad watch. It's a lot of fun though. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.